So I've been talking a lot about Parfums de Nicolai on this channel lately. We've done several videos around the fragrances around this house, but today we're reviewing one of a kind patchouli fragrance from this house called Patchouli Intense, this one right here. In this Afrobon contributor review video, I'll review Parfums de Nicolai Patchouli Intense. Plus you're gonna have a chance at winning a full bottle like this worldwide. So if you're curious to find out about Patchouli Intense and have a chance at winning a bottle like this, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click that bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So this bottle of Parfums and Nikolai Patchouli Intense was sent to me for this review, but all opinions are my own. And also stick around till the end to find out how you'll be able to get a bottle like this uh, from the giveaway as well. So I love patchouli. You already know this about me. I love it in fragrances. And it's a given that I was going to review this one eventually because I'm becoming a really big fan of Parfums and Nikolai fragrances. But this patchouli is unlike any patchouli that I've ever smelled. It's completely different. There's nothing that's in this fragrance that smells like any of the patchouli, uh, patchouli fragrances that I own. In fact, this is so, so different that I'm not even sure I've smelled this kind of patchouli before. It's very, very unique and very, very green. So Patchouli Intense was launched in 2009. The perfumer, of course, is Patricia de Nicolai. The concentration of this is sort of parfum and it's considered a woody oriental fragrance. Now for notes at the top we've got lavender, supreme orange, in the heart we've got pelargonium which is actually geranium, rose, cinnamon, Bay St. Thomas. In the base, you've got patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, cistus, incense, amber, musk. What a unique patchouli fragrance. So ultra green. This is kind of like walking into a very green patchouli forest, overrun by patchouli, like you're in, in its rawest format. It's right there, right in front of you. You are smelling and breathing all the greenery there intensely because it is called patchouli intense and this is a very very intense experience so what happens is at the top you get the lavender that lavender starts off things really big with a little bit of citrus here it starts reminding me a little bit of things that are more like fougere because lavender is used in aromatic and fougere fragrances so it goes into an aromatic territory as soon as it starts off here in the heart you got a little bit more uh, fougere or aromatic style notes with the pelargonium, which is geranium. But then you start getting some rose. The rose kicks in pretty big and then it, it throws a little bit of a spi uh, spicy uh, curve here with the cinnamon. And then you've got that bay, the bay leaf uh, from Bay St. Thomas. Very, very unique heart. I was expecting something a little different, but it's, it's going into like this really ultra green territory, except for the fact that you have that rose and the cinnamon, which is spicing it up a little bit and of course sweetening it up a little bit. In the base, the patchouli finally comes in, and this is where it starts finally smelling a little bit like patchouli, but still, it's nothing like any other patchouli fragrances that I've smelled. It's very, very green. It does get woody, of course, and then there's some ambery touches. You've got some smoke and uh, musk in there as well. I'm amazed at this fragrance because it's so unique and so different than any other patchouli fragrances. If you ever think of patchouli as being kind of like head shop smelling, uh, very hippies, 1960s, things like that, this is definitely not that. Nothing like that at all. In fact, this goes into a warm, spicy, fresh, spicy territory, but it's very, very earthy. It's so earthy and green that it uh, is very, very unique. There's also some powdery elements here. The fragrance does get a little powdery and it has a slight bit of metallic undertone in the fragrance. Uh, where, where that's coming from, I think it's coming from the uh, lavender and the geranium at the top. It doesn't last too long and I'm glad it doesn't because if it went ultra sharp metallic, I, I wouldn't have loved this fragrance because I really do love it and enjoy wearing it. The other thing is people smell this one and really react really positively. And then I tell them it's patchouli intense and they're like, that doesn't smell like patchouli. Uh, they say it smells green and they're quite, um, 
uh, amazed at how this smells compared to what they know uh, how patchouli smells. I'm amazed from it because it's so unique for a patchouli. That's what makes it so interesting to wear fragrances like this because you're so used to patchouli and you know how it's going to smell, but then you smell something like this, you're like, that's so different. So amazing. So check this one out. It's Parfums de Nicolai Patchouli Intense. Really, really unique patchouli fragrance. If you have nowhere to go to sample Patchouli Intense from Parfums de Nicolai, we do have a full bottle giveaway. As I said, there's a link to Safra Bond in the info box. Click that link, head over there, follow their rules to participate for this full bottle of Patchouli Intense, and then come back here and let me know your thoughts on this patchouli. Have you experienced it? Are you a fan of patchouli fragrances? Do you like green and aromatic fragrances? And let me know if you have a favorite uh, Parfums and Nikolai fragrance as well. Put that all down. Let's get a conversation started. Other than that, guys, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.